Hi everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. Today on um, our new episode of From the Bench, we're going to be looking at a big tree tech Nomi. It's the Nomi display uh, that mounts on the front of the stealth burner fan shroud. Um, so we're going to install it. I've already disassembled my test bench stealth burner here. I've pulled off the fan shroud to begin the installation. And we're gonna go through that right now. So to start with, we need to remove, um, in my case, I already have this daughter board here, which is the SB0000. Um, and I need to remove it in order to get uh, access to in front of the fans and install the Nomi. So I'm just gonna take that out. Should just be a moment here. Disconnect the current fans and the RGB. Just pull that aside for, like, for now. And then I'm gonna gently pop the uh, Stealth Burners blower fan out. And now the Nomi wires route down through here. I'm going to pop the other fans off too, because it routes right up through there. Okay, there it is. So just so you're clear, this is the wire for the Nomi, and we need to route it um, through this hole down here in the um, special fan shroud that Big Tree Tech publishes for the Nomi. And I'm gonna actually route them from the top down. Maybe that'll be easier. In fact, quite a bit easier. And then those wires route up through the wire channel of the stealth burner shroud so that they're ready to go into the uh, daughter board here when we're done. So with that, we then connect this end of the wire to the Nomi itself. And if I'm not mistaken, goes in this orientation, that looks right. Had it backwards, my bad. There we go, snaps into place. And the Nomi itself, um, the tail end of the Nomi here, or the bottom end of the Nomi, slots into this little channel here in the shroud. And these sits just like that. Snaps into place quite nicely. Now they do supply um, this additional ring to kind of, it's, I guess the snap fit to hold it in place. So we're gonna pop that in there. Pop in the top first, there we go. That makes more sense. Just like that. Okay, and now we need to put our fans back in. So like so, and then the other fan again in here. It will go, I promise. There's just a bunch of wires in the way here. So let me 
route those properly first. This part of it is a little fiddly and uh, it's fiddly with the regular stealth burner. Um, it's not anything specific about the Nomi, just uh, these wires can get in the way of mounting the fans if you're not careful about routing them properly. So let me just, there we go, we pop that into place. All right. And now I will go about screwing the SB00 daughter board back in. Let's just see what happens here. Let's pop that off first. Screw that back in. And then slowly reattach everything. All right, so that's one fan. Two fans. worried about why this connector is on a bit of an angle. Um, I left myself a little short on the wires and that's my fault. Um, so I've got to kind of bend them a little bit, but it doesn't really affect the functionality at all, which is good. And then finally for this, we're going to attach the red to five volts and the black to ground. Tucks into place. Now we should be able to reattach this to our tool head. I'm just going to power everything off here. Now to reattach to the tool head, again, we've got to be careful to align uh, this header with these pins so that we don't accidentally short anything. That looks good to me. What I'll do is screw this in. I'm pretty brave screwing all these in tight before even testing it out. Um, might have to undo these screws in a minute if something isn't working properly, but let's see what happens. All right. So uh, just to be aware that um, although I keep touching the screen, I'm just wiping it clean. This is not a TFT screen. It's not touch sensitive. Um, so you'll still issue your commands through your web browser or over your phone, through the main sale interface or your whatever printer interface you're using, whether that's uh, Octopi, Octoprint, or uh, main sale or Fluid. Um, however, um, the screen will display different images depending on uh, what state the printer's in at the time. So for now, let's go ahead and power everything up. First, I'll connect and power up my Pi. 
I'll turn on power for my UTC and my octopus. And we can see here that the um, Nomi is already responding. Now, I did pre-configure it uh, outside of this video. The configuration for it is actually pretty basic. Um, the only thing you need to do to configure it is to has lost touch with the printer. Haha, -ha, let's see. Oh, is it coming back? No, it's coming back again. So there we go. So the Nomi uses um, Wi-Fi in order to connect to the printer. It's connecting to the printer over Wi-Fi. Um, and initially when you get the Nomi, it'll be set up with its own um, IP address and, and uh, Wi-Fi web server that you'll have to connect to in order to put in your Wi-Fi networks um, SSID, the Wi-Fi network name, and also the password, as well as the IP address of the printer that you want Nomi to connect to. So it's getting all of the information from the printer uh, directly over the Wi-Fi connection. And depending on the commands you issue to the printer, uh, the Nomi will display different things. So this is um, these little shifty eyes back and forth are a um, just kind of an idle um, thing, and then it, it substitutes in the Voron logo here periodically. However, if I issue a command in my printer, and I'm just going to step over to my um, computer system over here and, and press a couple of buttons for that. Give me a second. So let me just log into my main sale interface. All right, and although I do not have a working, you know, motion system for this tool head, um, I've written some macros that simulate some of the functionality that you can see. So, for example, um, if I tell it to heat the hot end, and I'm just going to go to a low temperature here to not cause any issues with the plastic parts, but I can issue a hot end uh, heater. And we'll see that the image changes to a nozzle with the current temperature and the target temperature. Actually, the target temperature is at the top and the current temperature at the bottom. So that just um, lets us know that you know the, the Nomi is responding to those signals. Uh, I'm going to co hit cool down to turn off that nozzle um, heat. Uh, similarly, if you had a bed heater, and sadly, I don't have one attached to this tool head to demonstrate. But if I did, you could also uh, you'd also see a, a bed icon with similar temperatures at the top and bottom uh, for the target and the current temperature. Um, another icon that you can get is um, let's see here. So if I click on Let me just try another one here. So there was uh, requesting a home. So it's showing you the home icon when you're homing the printer tool head. And then another one that we can issue as well is there's a number of them here. Status, let's see, heating now. Yes, okay, so. So if I issue the bed mesh calibrate icon or command macro in my printer, um, you get a nozzle touching the bed surface. So uh, that's bed mesh calibrate. All of the icons um, that it can display are actually GIFs. And um, you can replace the GIFs with some of your own if you wish. Um, but uh, that's just a short demonstration of the Nomi. So the installation was pretty simple. You saw I did that in just a few minutes. Uh, the configuration itself is actually very simple. The only things that you're configuring are the, um, the Wi-Fi network, the Wi-Fi password, and also the IP address of the printer. Beyond that, it, it just 
worked seamlessly. Um, I had no issues setting it up. Uh, I haven't installed any custom GIFs, but uh, there are instructions on the Big Tree Tech website on how to do that if you're interested in trying that. So, go here to search for Big Tree Tech Nomi configuration and this page here will take you to the documentation page. Um, it is pretty straightforward. Towards the bottom of this documentation page, they talk about um, customizing the UI. Um, there are a couple of macros that you need to add as well. Um, I modified these a little bit to make them work for me, but um, you know you can use the the guidelines here on how to update your macros to uh, display the different icons for specifically uh, homing and bed mesh calibrate here. Um, and then if you want to customize your own uh, icons, uh, there's some instructions down here on how to do that. It involves um, loading some things into uh, Visual Studio. Um, but once you, uh, if you're familiar with that, you can go ahead and customize and, and replace these icons with, or GIFs rather, with um, images that you prefer for your printer. And I believe there's a total of uh, 17 different um, states that you can, you know, customize the GIFs for. So follow those instructions if you're interested in um, doing more customizations with the Nomi. Anyway, um, that's it for today's episode of From the Bench. Thank you very much for watching. If there's any questions, feel free to post in the comments below. Bye now.